Morning YouTube. It's been quite a while since I put up a video. This is another uh, jazz standard. This is How Long Has This Been Going On by George Gershwin. This was a 1940s jazz standard and has been remade many, many times over the years since then. Uh, the version I like is a Boz Skaggs version. Very slow, very melodic. So as before, I'm going to play a snippet of the song and then I'm going to break it down and show you how uh, to play all the jazzy chords. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I could cry salty tears. Where have I been all these years? I'm like, wow. How long has this been going on? And I could feel that I could melt into heaven. I'm hurt. I know how. Finding another Okay, let's go ahead and talk about how to play this great tune. First of all, uh, I'm playing with a little bit of flange on the guitar itself. It's in standard tuning, no real issues there. Okay, the song starts out with a sax uh, accompaniment on the melody on line, and you're basically playing the first uh, verse, the verse chords. The verse chords start out on a G sixth. Now a G sixth, this is Sixth is made by putting your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string on the third fret. Your pointer finger is on the second fret of the D string, okay? And then, uh, I'm sorry, the second fret of the A string. And then your uh, ring finger is on the third fret of the B string and you're just gonna play you're not gonna play the high E string You're just gonna play the the lower five strings. So it's Now that's an, uh, a G6 and you keep returning back to that and, and I'm using a plucking type uh, 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 Strumming pattern so it's Okay, second chord is an E minor seventh, which is an easy first position chord uh, your uh, it's just the second fret of the A string, so it's. And make sure you get the A ba or E bass in this song. Okay, next chord is an A minor seventh, which of course is an easy first position chord. You put your middle finger on the second fret of the D string and your uh, pointer finger on the uh, uh, first fret of the B string. Okay, so that's that's pretty easy chord, no real issues there. Uh, the third fret is a D 11th. Now a D 11th is made by laying your ring finger on the fifth fret. It's basically the middle four strings. So, and then you're gonna play the uh, fifth fret of the A string as the bass. So it's, that's a D 11th. So the first line is G sixth, E minor, a minor seventh to a D 11th. Okay. Now the second line is very similar. This is this goes for all the verses. G sixth to a G seventh. Now you can either play it uh, first position G seventh 
or it sounds actually sounds better and it's an easier transition to go to the G7 uh, bar chord on the third fret. So you're laying your first finger over all the frets and then your ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string and your middle finger on the fourth fret of the G string. G7th to a C major 7th, okay? C major 7th is made by putting uh, your middle finger on the third fret of the A string and your first finger on the second fret of the D string and you're playing the uh, fifth string as your bass. C major 7th. Now you're gonna have to go to another kind of a jazzy chord called a C major minor 7th, which is made by putting your first finger uh, over all the strings except for the low E on the third fret, just like this. And then you're going to just use your ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string and your little finger on the fourth fret of the B string. And you're just playing the middle four strings. It's kind of an odd chord, C major, minor seventh. Okay, so that line goes G minor, or G sixth to G seventh, C major seventh, to C minor major seventh, or C major minor seventh, I'm sorry. Third line starts out on a regular first, posi uh, first position G. E minor, C major seventh to an A minor seventh. Then you're gonna go to a C, and it's, it's almost like stab for the C in the first position, to an A minor. And I usually go to the A minor in the fifth, a bar chord A minor in the fifth fret. It's just easier to get to the next two chords after that. A minor, and then you're gonna go, uh, well, let me explain that A minor is putting all your fingers across all the strings of the fifth fret, and then uh, your uh, ring finger on the seventh fret of the A string, and your little finger on the seventh fret of the uh, D string. And you gotta, Make sure you don't play the low E, you're playing the, or make sure you play the low E, I'm sorry. Now the next, this these are two stab chords. The first one is a D augmented ninth. Now a D augmented ninth basically starts from a D ninth position. And the reason I'm showing you that is because you have to immediately go from a D augmented ninth, which is uh, you're basically taking your middle finger, putting it on the fifth fret of the A string, your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the D string, and then you're laying your ring finger over all the strings uh, uh, from the G, B, and the high E on the fifth fret. Now, you gotta get to the D augmented ninth, which is made by taking your pinky and you put it on the sixth fret of the high E string. So you get, get the D augmented ninth sound, hear that? Now, the reason I'm showing you it that way because you're gonna have to immediately go to a D ninth, which is just made by lifting up the pinky. So it's. Okay, and then back to the G. Now, let me show you how that all goes together because it's, uh, it's very important to get those stabs. So it's. How long has this been going on? So you're going C. A minor, D augmented ninth, D ninth, to a G. And if you want to get fancy on that last line, first first, you can go to the G in the tenth position, which is a C shape in the tenth fret, just like this. Okay, so uh, that's how all the verses are done, uh, and so, very, very easy to do that. Now, the chorus of the song, which is repeated a couple of times, uh, starts out on a C major seventh. So it's, you've already seen that one. Oh, I feel that I could melt. And basically what you're doing is you're just bouncing between C major seventh to the C major minor seventh, which I showed you before, and just bouncing back and forth. Into heaven I fall. Okay, third line of the chorus is, and it starts out on an E minor, which is a first position E minor. I 
know how, and it's going to go to an E minor sixth. Now, an E minor sixth is made by putting your pinky finger on the second fret of the B string. Got an odd sounding chord. You'll see how it fits in. And then you're going to go to an E minor seventh, which is made by moving your pinky finger up one fret to the third fret of the B string. And then back down. Okay, so the way that goes is I know how Columbus fell. So it's E minor, E minor sixth, E minor seventh, E minor sixth. Okay? And then you go to the last uh, line of the uh, chorus. Finding another world. And so it's E minor to E minor sixth to D ninth, which I've showed you before. So the chorus sounds like this when played uh, all together. Oh, I feel that I could melt into heaven. And then basically you're going to play uh, the verse again, a, a second verse. Actually, it's the third verse. Then you're going to do a solo over the verse chords using the same chords that I just showed you. Do the chorus again. And then you're going to uh, do the uh, third verse again. And then you're going to end up on basically repeating the last line of the verse. So it's... Playing it. How long has this been going on? And it ends on a G, so it's C to an A minor, D augmented ninth, D ninth, and then G. Okay, folks, that's how you play uh, the jazz standard from the 40s. How long has this been going on? And uh, this is a great tune. If you have a really good singer, uh, somebody who has some real smoky, you can slow this down as far as you want. If you have a soloist, you can play the melody line on uh, uh, on a saxophone or even on the piano, it would work out real good. So have fun with this one. We'll catch you more. I'll be putting more videos up. Glad to be back in business again. Um, we'll talk to you later.